four years of my life that uh, went by fast, but I enjoyed every every minute of it. Um, if I could, I'd go back and do it all and do it again. Grew up a Southern Miss fan. I know a lot of kids grow up wanting to they play football. They want to play in the NFL. I, uh, I I never wanted to do that. I wanted to go to Southern Miss. I wanted to play football for Southern Miss. I remember seeing my first game, and I had so much fun. And I you know looked up and I told my dad, I'm like, Dad, I want to go. I want to do that. That's what I want to do. And, uh, so this has really been a dream come true. For me, being from the coast, uh, I've always watched Southern Miss. I've always looked up to the uh, up to the players that played here back when I was in high school and middle school. And my dad has been an inspiration to me too. And he always told me to you know, look towards Southern Miss. And when I got the offer when I was in high school, I thought it was a dream come true. And I just feel like it was a, it was a blessing for me to get the opportunity to play for Southern Miss to be able to play at the Rock. And I'm just glad I was able to get the opportunity. I mean, what a what a journey. It's amazing, um, you know, people that you don't even know, know your name, know your face, just because you play for Southern Miss. And when you go out in public, your little kids want to take pictures with you, uh, people want your autographs. And it just, it shows you just, if you don't make it to the next level, what it feels like to be at the next level. You know, I, I love the Eagle Walk. I think it's the greatest tradition in all college football. I love, I love walking out there and seeing all the fans that come to support us. And you would think a stadium that, that only sits, you know, 35 plus thousand people. You didn't think it could get so loud, but it does. And it, uh, you know, I get goosebumps running out of the tunnel. Getting to see your fans and actually shake hands and see them eye to eye, it, uh, that's an adrenaline rush that it's hard to match right before the game. Uh, it definitely puts you on another level. But well, being in this town has really shown me what it feels like to be a superstar, what it feels like to be the person that little kids want to be one day when they grow up. I love playing at the Rock. I, I love walk, running out on the field and seeing uh, our fans yelling, yelling for us when we run out there. And the last time is going to be very emotional. Uh, it'll be bittersweet, you know. Just so many times, so many. Um, I like to think points scored at the Rock. You know, so many memories. Uh, had the opportunity to play with so many great players, so many great coaches. Uh, so it's going to be a very exciting day. Going at the, the last game next week, what I would say it's going to be emotional for um, me and most of the seniors because it's the last time we get to play in the Rock and we came so far and it, it's, it's all, almost over already. It's going to be very emotional for me and probably want to hold back my tears, uh, especially when I see my parents at League Walk for the last time and I, I'm just hoping I don't cry too much. Um, just crazy how quick it came and it's almost to the end. So bittersweet moment. It's hard, but uh, like I said, you just got to be thankful for the journey and uh, all good things have to come to an end, but uh, I love it. I wish I had three more years, but uh, I just got to go out here and enjoy this last time at the Rock.